Hello, uh, welcome back to Warsick Bad Reviews, everyone. We're finally back. I know we've been furloughed for a minute from the YouTube channel, but we're finally back in action, you guys. We're really excited to be back. Um, we've just been super, super busy with life, with COVID, with work. There's just so much stuff being piled on. It was really hard to get out to the field and you know make our schedules work together. But like I said, we're finally back <laughs> and we were able to get things done again. With that being said, before I want to get into our tournament, like our, our game that I have recorded, and I just want to update you guys on a couple things. I did buy a MacBook Pro. It was a lot of money. Excuse me. It was a lot of money, but it was definitely worth it. And I also bought a GoPro Hero 8 Black to record our games because I was recording with my phone, my iPhone 11 Pro Max. So same reason why I got the MacBook Pro is I can edit videos and make them a lot better than what they've been. So I'm really excited that it's a lot, it's a lot of editing. I, there's a lot of stuff that I need to learn, but I'm gonna do that for you guys because I wanna get the best content. We wanna get the best content for you guys. And thank you so much for being patient with us, you guys. We're so glad to be back. And we just really appreciate appreciate you guys getting us past a thousand subs too. That's awesome, man. That's freaking dope. But thank you so much for that. Now, I bought a GoPro Hero 8 Black. So that way I can record our games, our tournaments during the, um, during the weekends. I only got the one game, the full game, because I underestimated the memory in the SD card. I bought a 32 gigabyte SD card and it's nowhere near enough. It's like enough to record like 55 minutes of the game. That's it. So I gotta get a bigger go, or I gotta get, get a get, oh my gosh, I gotta get a bigger SD card so that way I can record the full game. I'm really sorry about that, you guys. You know, like I said, I just got the computer and I just got the GoPro, so I'm still trying to learn on both of them, but believe me, I will do it for you guys. We'll figure out how to make it work and we're gonna get some really, really good videos out. Um, I'm gonna try to mess around with like the tourney setup and everything like that. Speaking of that, we have a big tourney coming up this um, upcoming weekend in Mosta, Wisconsin. It's called Turf Wars. Jeff Lemmer, S2N's hosting it. There's like 30 some teams in it, it's gonna be huge. So I'm gonna try to do like a tourney vlog style. Um, let me know what you guys want to see like that. Do you guys want to see this like going to the game, like stretching and stuff like that, uh, talking, you know, kind of messing around and da 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 da, whatever, like doing a vlog and whatever between it. If you guys want to see that kind of stuff, let me know, and I'll, I'll make sure that happens because, like I said, I, we finally got the tools to make better reviews, and I'm really excited um, to learn how to really get um, good footage with the GoPro and really good editing with the MacBook. It's just gonna be a little bit, but hey, we'll make it there, you guys. We'll make it there together. So, let's get started for the tournament this weekend, or this past weekend. We played in Warrens, Wisconsin. It was UA, Unlimited Arc. What that means, you guys, um, UA is Unlimited Arc, which means they can throw it as high as they want. They just can't throw it lower than six feet. Here in Wisconsin, that's really, really popular. I know some other states it is, but not really anywhere. It's kind of dying out. Um, we've been more focused on playing UA this summer, which is, uh, or, um, sorry, we've been more focused on playing groove ball, which is what we call 6 to 12 um, pitch, 6 to 12 feet, we call that groove ball here. Um, we've only played like three <laughs> UA tournaments, so uh, we wanted to hop in there though because we played co-ed and we played men's. We took second place in co-ed and then we took fourth in men's. Uh, so the only game that I was able to record was against uh, Break Room, which they beat us and we ended up taking fourth place, but here's the footage for that game. Let's get started.
Saturday, I was pretty dead all day, but Sunday I came in and I hit very well. You know, I mean, I went two for two for that last game and I almost had a home run, but you know, it was just a hard game. Same thing, we lost twice in the men's, same thing with the first game. I can't remember their team, uh, but they're pretty good. Same thing, they ended up going out and scoring 11 on us in the first inning, and that was really hard to catch up. We ended up losing that game like 23 to like 16, I think, something like that. And then what did we lose? Like 17 to 20 on this past one. It was just, if we can cut them down in the first inning and not let them have that big inning, it's a completely different ball game. But the boys, they played hard at break room. You know, they did really well. They hit very good. They fielded good. Um, we fielded uh, pretty well also. It's just, you know, a couple walks and a blast, a couple walks and a blast and hits. Um, they were hitting the gaps and hitting hard in the infield, and it was just hard to keep up with that. On top of us, when we did hit it hard sometimes, we were just smacking it right to them, you know what I mean? So it is what it is. We played hard, they played harder, and they came out with a the dub. They ended up taking second place um, to this undefeated team. They were pretty good. Those boys were pretty good. I can't remember their name, but they uh, we watched like the first inning of the championship game. But I think break room was pretty dead because they had to play like four games in a row. And both our game and the game after them were both like really close games, so... You know how it is when you play those games. If you're just not smoking a team, you're just losing a lot of energy. And then when you have to play the championship game, you're playing a fresh team that, you know, has been sitting that whole time. They're sitting there getting, like, pumped, ready to play. And then you got to come in there tired and still put in work. And sometimes it's hard. But we ended up taking fourth place. We just fell short of the money. But, you know, we played hard. That's kind of been our MO for the past couple of weeks. We've just been taking, like, third place just falling short of the championship third place and fourth place um we would like smoke through everyone else but we would lose that momentum at the end and our sticks just couldn't can't pull through at the end but we're gonna keep doing hard you know season's almost over we have like maybe what like a month and a half or so but we're gonna try to push hard through the rest of the season see if we can't get a couple more dubs before the season ends and then off season comes and we're gonna have to work hard um build up two team or build up our team um, to fit, you know, a couple pieces of the puzzle. We picked up some new players for this upcoming year. So we're really excited for that. Um, we're gonna have apparel coming. You guys saw the new logo. That's really cool. Thank you to Rosalind Cleveland for that. So other than that, I don't really have any other updates, you guys. That's about it. If you guys have any questions, leave that below. I'm gonna link our Facebook below because you guys really need to go over there. Like that uh, page and make sure you follow us over there on Facebook because that platform, we keep you guys up to date on a lot of things, on reviews, on bats, um, just Q&As and stuff like that. Oh, if you guys want to do a live Q&A, let me know below because maybe Fabian and I will do a live Q&A this Saturday um, in between games so that way you guys can ask us questions. We did that last time on our Facebook. Um, we're not going to be able to do it on YouTube yet. I'll link the Facebook though and maybe I'll post something by Friday night. Um, we'll probably do that um, on Saturday though, if you guys want to, we'll do a live Q&A on Facebook. <laughs> so make sure you head over there. Other than that, take care of yourselves, take care of that swing, take care of your families, and we'll see you guys next time.